What's going on guys? Welcome to some more Minnesota Vikings franchise. In this episode, the 5-3 Vikings are taking on the 4-4 four four New England Patriots at home at the Metrodome here in Week 10. And good news for Minnesota, they get Jamez Logan back after his three-week injury. He missed two games and the bye week. Whereas the Patriots, they're without Rex Burkhead and a couple other players in the race right now for the NFC North title. Halfway through the season, it's neck and neck between the Vikings, Bears, and the Packers are not too far behind. I don't cut the Detroit Lions, but taking a look now at the stats for the Patriots, Tom Brady. The numbers are not spectacular, and Rex Burkhead is injured, so the running attack will be held by Danny Woodhead and Steven Ridley. And taking a look at their receiving stats, Vincent Jackson has been added to the Patriots. They must have picked him up through free agency. But it is time to go to the Metrodome where Minnesota tries to hold on to their number one spot in the division. They own the tiebreaker against the Bears, but they're not too far behind. And we'll start on offense with the Minnesota Vikings. Christian Ponder, a 12-5 touchdown interception ratio. Pretty good so far this year. And he'll hand it off to Adrian Peterson on second down. Adrian will pick up six yards and they'll bring up third down and four now for Ponders. He's dropping back to pass. He throws it left side and that's Percy Harvin making the catch for a first down nine yard gain. We go forward to second and four. There's Jamez Logan. Welcome back to the lineup. And Ponder, he wants to look his way. The same route he threw to Percy Harvin, but this time, Devin McCourty was on coverage on Jamez Logan. And McCourty is going to take this one to the house. Pick six. And that short out route can be very dangerous, very interception prone. So it's 7-0 here early for the Patriots. And now Ponder finds an open Jamez Logan as he makes his first catch and his return to the team. 17 yards and a new set of downs for Minnesota as they inch towards midfield. Ponder to pass on first down. He's taking a shot deep. Michael Crabtree and he lets it go right through his hands. He played very well in Jamez's absence and now once Jamez is back... He is struggling again, but now Ponder to pass on third and six, and the pass to Vasante Shenko is caught, but short of a first down, so Minnesota just punts the ball away, and the Patriots have it now from the 22-yard line. There's a catch by Wes Welker, but it's ripped out by Jamel Fleming, and there is Christian Ballard to scoop up the loose ball, and the Vikings take over possession now. They have the ball the Patriots' 28-yard line. Ponder pumps, and then he finds Harvin over the middle, who breaks a tackle and gets a first down. Getting Minnesota inside of the red zone for the first time in this game. Now Jamez Logan in motion. Ponder wants the throw. He will look to the end zone. And once again, a touchdown for newly acquired tight end Andrew Corliss, who's been playing awesome since I picked him up. But now Brady and the Patriots have it. Brady is hit as he throws it, but he has an open man, and that is Vincent Jackson, who got behind Morris Claiborne. And now third and eight for Brady as he needs a first down. He's going to look for the screen to Danny Woodhead. And that will result in negative yardage, so now Steven Goskowski to kick a long field goal attempt, and it is just a little short and just a little to the left. So, they miss the field goal, Minnesota gets great field position, and they have the ball at the 48-yard line of New England as we begin the second quarter. Ponder time to throw, he looks to the right side, and there is Percy Harvin on a curl road. He already has four catches in this game, but third and two for Ponder and the Vikings. They look to convert for a first down under pressure, and Ponder just kind of throws it over the middle. I probably shouldn't have even thrown that ball there, but it was incomplete, and we just kicked the field goal, and the Patriots take the ball over now, and Danny Woodhead, he takes the carry. He's not going to get too far, but injury on the play. That is Alfonso Smith. We'll catch up on that in a moment, but third and nine for Brady, and he will be sacked by Taylor Mays as I bring the safety blitz with one of our quickest defensive players, and Alfonso Smith has a torn shoulder labrum, so we'll have to check up on his injury. It's good we signed a Vander Frederick, because we had two cornerbacks go down since that signing. Minnesota has the ball on third and three, and Harvin will come up with a conversion catch, his fifth on the day, as the Vikings get into field goal range now at the 29-yard line, handoff Adrian as he cuts up the middle, and he takes a shot. But he will get the first down nonetheless and hang on. So Minnesota now third and three. And the screen is set up right side for Toby Gerhardt. And great blocking. And Gerhardt is into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Vikings take a 17-7 lead. The Patriots would eventually punt on their next possession, and back deep is Evander Frederick, who has some room to run. He starts right, spins left, and then he has some room to run, and he's got some green in front of him. I pass the 40 to the 45. He got the punter in his way, and he's going to go out of bounds. 
but a penalty is going to negate that pretty good return for Evander Frederick, clipping on Christian Jones. So we ended up going three and out, didn't get anything going with that drive, and we're in the second half now. As Brady hooks up with Jeff Duckworth for a first down, 18 yards into Minnesota territory. Not a lot of passing success for the Patriots in the first half. And the pressure is getting to Brady. He's not used to getting this much heat on him, and this time it's Christian Ballard. And Christian Jones was injured with an abdominal tear, and so we lose one of our outside linebackers for the rest of this game. Brady, third and 12 to pass. He has plenty of time. He finds Vincent Jackson underneath, and that is short of a first down marker, well short. And Goskowski's going to come on and kick another field goal. He was short last time. He's even shorter, and I know you should do a field goal block there, not do the return, but it's a chance for a big play. And we got a Vander Frederick as he breaks a tackle, and he's up past the 30. 40, and he breaks Goskowski's tackle, and Vander Frederick is off to the races, but flag on the play. Yet another solid return from Vander Frederick, negated by a flag, but this is a little bit different of a situation. It's clipping on D'Angelo Hall, but I guess it's not a spot of the foul penalty, and instead we just get the ball at the one-yard line. It's a 108-yard return, essentially, and a one-yard touchdown. I'll take that. So now the Vikings, 24-7, to have a pretty commanding lead right now, and Brady is still getting pressure, and it's the first career sack for Telvin Smith, as Brady is obviously frustrated. Minnesota, though, they're punting later in the third quarter from their own end zone, and it's going to be returned by the Patriots. They're going to get good field position on this drive as they get to the Minnesota 43 to begin this next set of downs. But they got third and 10 from the Minnesota 44. And Brady's heaving it long to the end zone, and Vincent Jackson got behind Jamel Fleming and Taylor Mays, and he is in for six, and Vincent Jackson's been having a great game, probably the only Patriot with a great game right now, seven for 127 and a touchdown. Him and Devin McCourty can't do it by themselves, and Brady, he's feeling the pressure, and that's an off-balance throw that's way off of the mark, and so... This is way more pressure than Brady is used to, and it's not getting any easier for him. Jared Allen sacks Brady back at the 33-yard line, and there's Brady just punched in the turf. Clearly frustrated with the lack of protection and the ability of Minnesota's defense to pressure him the entire game. It's 24-14, though. It's still only a 10-point game. And Ponder, second and four. He gets sacked this time by Jermaine Cunningham back at the 20-yard line. That'll bring up third down and long. Third and 12, Minnesota looking for a conversion. Offense has been slow in the second half. And there's our guy right there, Jamez Logan, his third catch on the day. He comes up and makes a conversion. Now second and nine for Ponder as he is going to roll to his left and throw it as he gets hit, and he finds Jamez Logan again for a first down, and it's nice to have Logan back in the lineup. That's what you can get out of him. Big plays. And Peterson on the day was mostly quiet, but here on second and 11, he will get a nice first down carry. There you can see, 20 for 68, not overly impressive numbers, but third and four. Ponder, he looks over the middle, and he fires it to Jamez Logan. The pass falls incomplete, and Logan is down, holding his head, and I immediately thought concussion, but it's just a pinched nerve in his neck. We're going to put in Crabtree, play it safe, as we have a 13-point lead right now, late in the fourth quarter, and Brady and the Patriots get the ball, and we are struggling to cover Vincent Jackson with his ninth catch on the day. As the Patriots are getting towards midfield, Brady to pass again, and he's going to look for Vincent Jackson, who makes another catch. It'll be second and inches coming up, and we'll fast forward to third down and inches. Empty backfield for Brady out of the shotgun. Hit as he throws, and he looks on the right side, and that is going to fall incomplete. So fourth and inches coming up for the Patriots. they got to get a conversion here. Brady, two tight ends, Hernandez in motion, Woodhead in the backfield, and look at this blitz from Vontez Perfect. That blitz two linebackers, and Perfect came through clean, and it's a turnover on downs for the Patriots, and Minnesota gets the ball back. Crabtree and Harvin are the receivers out for Ponder as he fires it left, caught by Crabtree. He gets away from the defenders inside the 10-5, tackled at the 2 or 3 yard line. As Minnesota looks to put this game away from the one yard line, handoff to Toby Gerhardt, his second touchdown on the day, one receiving and one rushing. And with a comfortable lead late in the game, it is time to put in our backups and not get anybody injured and get these guys some repetitions. And we will do so, and the Patriots are on offense now, down by 20 with three minutes to go. Brady's still going to be throwing out of the shotgun. He hits Vincent Jackson open for another first down catch, his 11th catch now. New set of downs to work with, Brady finds Duckworth again, and this one's past midfield as they now look to get into scoring range again. Third and seven though for Brady, and look at all the purple jerseys surrounding Tom Brady. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but Brady just got destroyed. 
And so fourth and 12. No, they're going to pass again out of the gun. He's got Woodhead help and protection. And Brady's going to roll to his left, avoid the Vikings coming at him, and throws it across the field. Interception for Tyrell Johnson. And I think by now, Tom Brady just wants to get out of Minnesota. He's been sacked a lot in this game, thrown an interception, been under pressure all day. Colin Kaepernick's now in for the Vikings as we're getting the guys some reps. We don't take knees. We get repetitions for the guys that aren't getting any playing time. And there's Taylor Price making a catch. And now third and two for Kaepernick. Good blitz pickup. And then Kaepernick's going to scramble, and he's going to pick up about 12 yards on the gain. And so Minnesota, they go on to win the game 34-14, to pretty much dominated the Patriots and gave Tom Brady an absolute nightmare on offense. So Ponder, two touchdowns and a pick. Peterson, 68 yards rushing, not much. Woodhead, only 32. Couldn't stop Vincent Jackson, though, 168. Crabtree, Logan, Harvin, and Shanko did most of the receiving for the Vikings today. As the Vikings now improve to 6-3 and three on the year. First career sack for Telvin Smith. Even Taylor May has got on the action sack. Brady and Alfonso Smith. He will miss one more game. But Minnesota is victorious in Jamez Logan's return. And this Evander Frederick kid, he's got C potential. He could be a backup. And he did alright in the special teams plays. So perhaps I'll keep him. That was a good pickup. But the Vikings are 6-3. and three, As are the Chicago Bears. Still neck and neck. And next up is against the Miami Dolphins. Another home game. And a couple of videos for you guys to watch if you haven't seen them yet. I got on top the last video I posted in my SSX Let's Play series. I'm still having a ton of fun playing that game. Check that stuff out. And on the bottom, I made a video with the Washington Redskins trading up to the number two pick. It's not official yet, but it probably will be as they are looking to draft Robert Griffin III, and I got some gameplay with an RG3 I created playing for the Washington Redskins. So check out those two video guys and all the other stuff I've been putting out lately. I've been really happy with the commentaries, and I like making videos about real NFL stories. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.